The Confucius Institute at the University of Cape Coast has held a public lecture to educate the students of the institute and participants about the Chinese culture and industry. The industrial public lecture also focused on women empowerment in the Chinese enterprise as a way of motivating and encouraging women to take up management and leadership roles in organizations. Speaking at the lecture, the founder and chief executive officer of Zonda Tech Ghana Limited, Yang Yang, urged the participants to develop positive attitude towards life, which she said plays a critical role in succeeding in life. She appealed to the student participants to be open-minded and take advantage of the many opportunities available to them to develop their skills and competencies to prepare them for the job market. We need to take initiative to work. You shouldn't be forced to study or work. Then in the university life, you need to know, in the future, what do I want to do? If you want to become like an entrepreneur, you, be, you prepare yourself as entrepreneur type. If you want to work in a big company, you check for the requirements the big company need. Then you prepare yourself for that way. If you want to work as a trader, then in the university, then you go out to follow examples of your uncles, your aunties, to see what really trading is. Internship is very, very important. Usually, the first three years of study, we don't know what we want. But when we join a good company, we learn from our seniors. We know, okay, I need to prepare myself in this way. Then, uh, when you're going through the process, at least you learn how to work. Then you are, you are so prepared. Do I love, really love this job? If I don't love this job, later, what can other job I need to get? After one month of internship, at least you know. Then even later, you don't want to work in this company, you go to other companies. Maybe the, the good companies, work experience can become a good interview uh, speech for you, right? In life, we need to know what we want, and later you prepare for it. Delivering an address on the theme, Women Empowerment in Chinese Enterprises, Madam Yang Yang encouraged ladies not to work in isolation, but to cooperate with men to help achieve their goals and ambitions. She added that women should not see themselves as inferior to men, but also vow for management positions and leadership roles when the opportunity presents itself. Women empowerment. What is women empowerment? Women will empower man. That is empowerment. And for women, I can make achievement. Is me make achievement? No, I control man to make achievement for me. Right? What is to control man? Every day you encourage him, you motivate him, you praise him. Me, I'm a strong woman, so I must have a divorce. I shouldn't have no husband. But look at me, my ring is here. I have a good husband. Why? Because outside, I'm very, very strong, I'm very, very tough. But when I go into my house, I know how to massage my husband. That is... So that is because you have been working as a marketer for a long time. The human resource manager for Keda Ceramics Ghana, Lo Young, also speaking on the theme, Understanding Chinese Business Culture and Etiquette, Keys to Succeeding in Chinese Enterprises, revealed that the Chinese business and enterprise employ people who easily adapt to work, are humble, punctual, hardworking, and have good human relations. The Chinese business adequate is very, like I said, it's very complicated. Even myself, I don't know all the Chinese adequate. But one thing I can tell you that is very essential in the Chinese cooperation, there will be punctuality. You can't be late for any meeting. You can't be late even for one minute because all the Chinese people will tend to arrive the venue 15 minutes earlier. So which means when you arrive on time, you arrive late. Also, be humble because um, I'm not saying that all the older people are right, but you have to pay some respect for them at first. At least you have to show your respect to them and because you're unknown of all the things that in the expertise so you have to learn from them that's for one thing and for the other thing that we think that will be polite for you to pay some respect for the older guys within your workplace 
Dean for the Faculty of Art, who chaired the program, Professor Safo Safo Kantanka, said the program is timely and will help to imbibe hard work into the students. He, however, called for more collaboration between the faculty and the Chinese enterprises. I'm encouraged by the fact that the CEO, the founder and CEO of Zonda uh, Tech is a woman. And so that should encourage our students here to see that there's something that can be achieved when it comes to the empowerment of women. And so especially the women around, this is an encouragement to all of us. The Faculty of Arts supports strongly the Confucius Institute, UCC, to deliver on its mandate. Then we continue to urge you to bring more of these programs so our students can learn from the etiquette of business, from the uh, culture of Chinese businesses. Speaking with the news team, Madam Yang Yang had this to say. You know, this world, we see if we know the nature of how this world is running, then we can make money, right? If you don't understand the nature, every day you are so... Uh, you know, it's like you are sleeping. Definitely, you nobody will come to you. But you, when you go to other people, you learn so many things. Then your mind becomes so sharp. You are so allergic to a lot of information. Then you quickly grab the opportunity and become your own opportunity for your life. Reporting for TVUCC, my name is Edwin Kwesi Kumsen.